Praise the Lord, saints. Thank God for another day. He has blessed us to, to assemble here, to share the word with God with you tonight. I appreciate the Lord for being mindful of us, for waking each and every one of us this morning, clothing us again in our right mind. Thank Him for His compassion. Thank Him for His understanding. Thank Him for His long suffering. You know, He's a long suffering God. The Bible says His compassion fails us not. Man, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that his compassion and fear. I'm so glad his mercy is new every morning. Because, folks, I need it every day. I need his mercy. And I need his compassion. I thank God for him. I always like to bow before him and give him honor and give him praise and let him know, man, that I really appreciate him. Even sometimes if my flesh looks like don't act like it. But I want to let the Lord know I appreciate him. I love him. To the best of my ability, I'm asking him to always give me Give me that that I need to love him even more than that I do. You know, I want to be able to love him with all my heart, you know, all my mind, all my soul, my strength. I want to give him all praise at all time. And I want to let him know tonight that I really appreciate him. I acknowledge him. I confess him. I put him above all, put him above everything. But Jesus is my all in all. He's my everything. And I want to let him, I want to rehearse that in his ears of Jesus. You're my everything. You're my healer. You're my deliverer. You're my baptizer in the Holy Ghost. You're my provider, my protector. You're my salvationist. Now, I like to let him know that. Let him know, even though he knows all the things, but you know, I let him know that, Jesus, you're my everything. I put nothing before you. I strive to put nothing before you. I thank the Lord tonight. I appreciate God tonight for, like I said, another open door for us to be able to minister the word of God to be able to try to strengthen you, to encourage you, to, you know, something that helped you just hold on. You know, we're in a time where this enemy is coming up on us like a flood, and we need something, thank God, to hold on to in this hour. You know, the devil fighting everybody. Some with some with something or another, man, he's he ain't letting nobody escape. He ain't letting nobody go free. He ain't letting nobody worship freely. Man, he's fighting you, attacking your mind, he's attacking your faith, he's attacking your body. You know, we're trying to attach your confidence. But thank God the Bible tells us that when that enemy do come in up on us like a flood, we got to believe God's word that he'll raise up a stand against it. We, we got to stand on that, folks. Stand on the word of God. I'm trying to stand my ground. As Jesus told me last year, he said, to stand your ground. And I'm trying to stand my ground. Sometimes it, it don't be easy, but we are trying. We are striving. God, help me to stand my ground. And whatever you when you say that, God help me to do it. Stand my ground. I thank God tonight. We're going to go in prayer for a moment. We're going to ask the Lord to, if he'll be with us and he would, and touch the heels of those that will be watching this and touch their hearts and their mind and God give us something that's going to help and encourage me. You know, we, we need help. And we need something that, that help us encourage us, that stir us, that help us to fight this good fight. We don't need nothing man, to put us down. We need something to lift us up and encourage because everybody going through stuff. You know, and people that think, think that they ain't going through stuff, if they ain't, they will. And they're going to need Jesus. They're going to need this compassion. Holy Father, God of heaven and of earth, I thank you. This night, Lord, for being who you are, Lord, I really, I, I don't have words to express. I wish I had. But Lord, I just want to let you know I thank you and I really appreciate you. And Lord, I love you. Help me to love you with all my heart. I pray be mindful of your people tonight. Heal the sick. Lord, there be a moment. God, give deliverance. Give victory. Jesus, give victory. Be this compassionate Savior that we read about. But touch the people. I pray. Touch their bodies. Touch their spirit, their mind. Touch the lost. Reach out there, Father, and touch our loved ones. God, our children, our grandchildren, our in-laws, our brothers and our sisters. Reach out there, Father, and touch them, I pray. You say you come to seek and save that which were lost. I'm asking you tonight, Lord, for your mercy and your compassion. Jesus, to help. Lord, put something in us, boy, that gives us this compassion that you have. Give us, Lord, this mercy that you have. Give us this love. Lord, that you have. You said a tree is known by its fruit. Take your boat up in us tonight, Father. Take your boat up. God, help us to 
be successful. I'm talking about in you. Not in the eyes of men, not in our own eyes, but to be successful in you, Lord, to obey you, to hearken. God, to strengthen souls, to win souls over to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, cover this service tonight with your blood. Father, hide it behind your cross. Lord, move in our neighborhoods and our villages and towns and city. Move, God, by your spirit. I pray, keep a watch over us. And Lord, I give you thanks for waking up this morning, Lord. Put us on your wake-up call again this morning. I thank you. And we give you praise. Jesus' name. Praise God. We thank God for you tonight. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes. We appreciate you. Uh, we pray that you're doing better, Sister Bruce. We appreciate you. I know Brother Fred and agree, touch and agree with They prayed last night, and we just agreed with them as they were praying, taking you up, that God had delivered it. The pain, the delivery from the pain that you were having. So we agree with them that they was uh, praying for you. All of you that are going through you know, the, the prayer request, the, you know, cheat, we, we praying for you. I think it's your, I don't know your, I believe it's your niece's son. I may have it wrong, but we praying for him that God to save his soul. If God don't raise him up, they got to save his soul. All those. You know, such a sight they're loving all, but we're praying for you. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes tonight. We're going to minister on to you. How can we move God? You know, we need to. How can we move God? You know, we need to find a way to move Jesus. He's the only somebody that can help us. If you hear me say oftentimes, John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God. In other words, put your eyes upon Jesus. Put your eyes upon Him and, and behold Him. How can we move God? We got to find a way to move God. Listen, these are some of the ways that we can move God. We can, in the Bible says, faith under God, God under faith. Faith, Hebrews 11 says, faith is the substance thing, hope for. The substance of faith is. How can we move God through faith? Listen, Hebrews. Hebrews 4, we're going to start at verse 14 through 16. How can we move God? Man, we need to we need to move God, folks, in this hour. I mean, people are fighting on every hand. People are going through mind, body, spirit, and we need to find a way to move God. As God let us find faith with you, that we can move you, where you can hear our prayer, that you I ain't worried about this other stuff. God, just let me find favor with you. We need to pray, God, let us find favor with you, because we need God to move. All this other stuff that's going on out here, we need God to move. We need God to move. All this old oh, uh, theologian stuff, this sophisticated stuff, that stuff ain't no good to you. We need to find a way to get God. We're in trouble. We need Jesus to help us. We're praying every day and asking. We need you. We got to find a way to move God. This is what Hebrew 4, verses 14 through 16 say. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity, but was an all point tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Listen for what? That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help. In the time of need, how do we get God? We got to come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly with the word of God. Come boldly as Moses did. Came boldly before God with this word. Uh, Hosea said, I think 14 said, listen here. When you go before God, and take words with you. Take word with you. We got to get God to move. God was one thing about the Lord. He will honor his word. He will honor all this other stuff to be his speaking and saying and, and the world is in a mess the church world is in a mess in trouble and we need jesus to deliver to help us break out some of the old yoke that's off our necks and he said for us to come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy come boldly bring god's word that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help this is how we get god to move come boldly come in confidence come in faith bringing god's word to him Lord, you told us by your stripes. Man, you got to come to him with confidence. By your stripes. You told us we ain't here. You told us we were here. 
We were here. Peter said we are here, but we were here. We are here, the Bible said. Peter said we were here. We got to come boldly. How do we get God to move? We got to do everything we know to get God to move. Let me tell you, we don't listen. Man, God, we need to find a way. All this other stuff we going on, speaking all this other stuff, and doing all this other stuff, and showing up here, yet Jesus not moving for us. Yet people still in trouble. Yet people still bound. Yet the devil is still riding. We got to find a way to touch God. And the Bible says we have to come boldly before the throne. Man, we got to shove all this other stuff out. It ain't working for us. It ain't working for the Christian. It ain't working for the church. We got to find a way, Jesus, I'm come down to deliver you. I'm come down to hear you. I'm come down to deliver you. And we got to find a way, man, to man, the, uh, man, to get in right in that approach, right, that very throne of God, that throne of grace. We got to get right in there. Jesus said the middle wall of petition have been torn down. Now we got to find a way. Thank God we got to walk into that place. Get into that place. Get our eyes off ourselves and who we are, what we think we are. And man, and get our eyes upon Jesus and get into that place where we can touch Jesus. Man, I want to touch Jesus. I need Jesus to do so much for me. I need to touch him. I need to find a way, man, to touch him. You hear me say often, God, help us to find favor with you. Help us to do something. How can we find faith? How can we get God to move? Forward? How can we, man, our loved ones in trouble. Loved ones bound on drug and alcohol and bound on the things of the world. And, and yet, thank God, that it, it, it looked like we need to find God. The Bible said we can, man, His mercy endure forever. His compassion, and we can find a way to tap in, tap into the very thing that moved God. We got the Romans say, listen here, man, God, Call those things that be not. We got to get in that play. Where, but matter of fact, Romans 4. He said, As it written, I made thee a father of men and nation before whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not. That we got to get in the play. We got to take that and call those things. Faith move God. Faith. We got to tap into this faith. Faith will absolutely move God. Man, it's something about faith, man, that stirs God up up there. Get in the movement because, you know, he's a God of faith. He spoke this whole world in existence. And we can find the same spirit that God has. Thank God to call them things that be not as though they were. And don't back off on it. Stand on it. Stand firm on this thing. Man, we got to God give us some Jesus to help us to stand firm. Don't back off your word. I know the devil comes to us and fight us and try to make us back off what the word of God tell us. But, you know, you can't back off. Man, you got to stand firm and confess. The word of God. The Bible tells us then some that the word of God is ever self in heaven. The word of God is ever self. There is a place in Jesus that we can get to. There is a place I believe in Jesus that we can get to if we were strive and press. We forget about the stuff that's behind us and begin to strive to get in that place. There is a place. Thank God the Bible says, He that dwelleth in Psalm 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty God to help us to find. That secret place. And I believe, folk, that secret place is Jesus Christ. He told us that all power in heaven and earth has been given into my hand. How can we move God? How can we move? We got to find a way. People's in trouble. And people are praying. They have five phone calls today. People are praying. People are needing help. And several called me crying. I look like I just don't know what to do. Somebody told me I just don't. They call me this easy. I just look like, what do you do when you don't know what to do? Somebody called me this even crying. I said, God help us. Help us to find a way. And I begin to say, God help me to tap into you. God help us to find a way to get you to move. You know, people, people need help. And we're going on with our religious belief and religious moving and religious activity and yet we ain't getting God to move. So how do we get God to move? He said we got to come boldly. Stand on God's word. Bring this word to him. To Jesus, now your word said you will watch over to make it good. He told us your word would not return to the word that goes out of your mouth. And you told us then John 10 that the scripture cannot be broken. And Father, you honor your word. I'm bringing your word to you. I got to find a way to move you. God, do something for us. 
touch our mind, open our understanding. We got to find a way to get you to move. We can't make it down here. We got to have you to move for us. We need you to move for this devil's on the rampage. And he's fighting. He's doing everything he can to discourage us, to turn us around, kind of get us to throw up our hands and quit. Thank God. We need something from God. Thank God to help us to be strong. Help us to be steadfast. Help us to be unmovable. All this old dead word that's going on, it ain't helping nobody. It ain't delivering nobody. It ain't strengthening nobody. We, man, we need the Spirit of God. We need something. We need a word that's alive, a living word that's alive that helps us. Man, that lift up the bow down here, that strengthen. Man, we are going through so much trouble down here in trials and tests. And all we do is head, uh, hold on to a dead word. We need the Spirit of God. We need something that can really lift us up, get us up. Something going to strengthen us, encourage us. How? Come boldly. Stay with God. Stay with the Word of God. God's Word says, His Word is ever set in heaven. You cleave to Him. Find a way to cleave. Find a way to confess His Word. Be steadfast. Unmovable. Believe God. Look what, look what Daniel said. Look what, look, we got to believe God. Look, well, this is what Daniel said. The book of Daniel 6. In verse 21 through 23. Listen, you can jot it down. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth that they have not, that they have no hurt, not hurt me. For as much as before him innocent was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the, the den, and no man of hurt was this up, found upon him because what? He believed his God. No hurt was found on Daniel because he believed his God. We got to believe our God. Faith is that we got to believe that he is. The Bible said, and the reward of them that desperately seek him. We got to find a way. The Bible said, Daniel getting a hurt after they put Daniel down then. Daniel, when the hurt come up on Daniel, because what? He believed this God. For we got to believe our God. We got to come boldly to the throne of grace. We got to stand on this thing. We got to believe with all our heart. Make no difference what the circumstances say. We got to get our eyes off the circumstances and the situation and stand flat foot and boldly on the word of God and declare God's word to him. God, you said this. You told him you were no man that you should lie. Lord, if you want to lie to this Lord, what's going to happen to But you don't lie. You say you can't lie. So we are stand on your word. You're standing on your word. Maybe we got to move God. We got to get God excited up there. He said, I got to move with them people. I got to. Regardless of the circumstance and the situation. Man, they'll stand on me. They'll bleed my word. Man, they're, 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 they're as I am. They're having faith. Faith move God. Faith under God. The Bible said, then how do we get God to move? Through faith. Believe in God. Trust in God. Well, Brother Austin, man, I'm living so, I'm living so good. I don't care how good you're living. Faith under God. And good living don't get you delivered. Good living is the faith we have in Jesus. Jesus gives us the faith that we won't believe nothing else but you. Stand on your word. And Job said, listen here. All my praying time, I'm going to wait until my change come. I'm going to wait. He says, the change comes. The thing, God performed the thing that is a praying unto me. He said, yet I'm going to wait until my change. I'm going to wait here. Thank God we can have patience. Why we get God to move? Through persistence. Through persistence. Keep standing on, keep it. The devil going to bring everything our direction. He's going to talk to our mind. He's going to talk to our spirit. But be persistent. Be pers Confess by your strife, Jesus, I'm here. Man, we acknowledge the thing. We acknowledge that we have a headache, a backache, a pain. We acknowledge that, but we don't go around testifying of it. We testify that by your strife, Jesus, we are here. You were said it, 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 your strip can't be broken. And we acknowledge that we're going through these trials and tests, but we are not running around testifying about it. We are testifying to you. We're believing your word. We stand your God. We got to move you. Know we got to move you. God, if we, can, if we can get you stirred up up there, give us that to get you stirred up. Problems every day. People are going through stuff every day. I got to find a way. Jesus, help me to find a way to move you. 
Help me to find a way to find favor in you. This is what I'm asking Jesus. Help us to find favor with you, Lord. I don't care how professional we are. Professionalism just ain't getting it, folks. You know, professionalism just ain't getting it. We got everything on, on television, everything on Facebook, everything, but it ain't getting the job done. I said, Lord, help us to find a way to move you. He said, the people that do know their God should be strong and do exploit. Persistent. Persistence. Keep confessing Jesus' word. Keep standing on His word. We ain't got nothing else to go to. Ain't nothing else out there for us, folks, but the word of God. And we got to stick with that word. I don't care what people say. You got to stick with that word. The Bible says worry won't come back to them, boy. It's ever settled in heaven. He says like a hammer. That break a rock in the people. You keep hammering his words. You keep telling that devil, devil by his stripes I'm here. Devil, I'm delivered. Devil, I'm made whole. Devil, great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Devil, I'm more than a conqueror. Thank God. You know, you keep confessing this stuff to you. Man, you, you be getting strength. Get more, more of you confess that thing. You know what that does for you? That keep get you getting stronger and stronger. You keep saying, by your strike, I'm here. And we keep saying that. We get stronger. It, it begins to knock down that spirit of Satan. It begins to knock down that old spirit of doubt. It begins to knock down that spirit of disbelief. Keep saying that. Great is he that is in me. You keep keep rehearsing it, saying that, confessing. Great is I'm more than a conqueror. And man, that do that, that begin to hammer. That begin to hammer those spirit of doubt. That begin to hammer the spirit of disbelief. That begin to wear that stuff down. And what it does, it builds up your confidence in your word. Build up that confidence in you. That you have in you. Build up in Jesus Christ. You know, I say one time we were down in Horn Lake and my old car quit on me at the gas station. Man, it wouldn't, Gary Crank wouldn't say that. That's when I sat there and I just kept quoting faith scripture. Just, I sat there maybe five, maybe five or six minutes, maybe ten minutes, I'm not sure. But I kept quoting some faith scriptures. Quoting them, kept quoting them and quoting them until that thing finally hit my heart. And I was quoting at the beginning to build that faith up in me. And I felt, I felt at that time, I felt, man, that, that faith, and I hit my switch. Man, that thing popped on like that, man. I went on by my bed. You know what? Keep confessing stuff. Keep saying, you, you, man, you're weakening that doubt. You're weakening that doubt, and you're strengthening your faith. Confess it. Don't go around confessing. Oh, woe is me, Lord. I'm just under. Say, Jesus, by your strike, I'm standing on this. By your strike, I'm delivered. You would that we prosper and be in help. Father, your words say you would that we prosper and be in help. And Father, this is where I'm confessing. I'm confessing that I'm prospering. I'm confessing that I'm being in help. Yeah. We got to get to God. We got to find out how can we get to God. This is what, this is what, what I read. I, I read that Roman. I quote that Roman. Call them thing that be not. That do, come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly to the throne. Come boldly. Bring Jesus' word. Bring boldly. Now the devil's going to come. He always does. He always does, man. He, 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 he don't give up. But you know, we can't give up. you got to be steadfast, unmovable, and the devil's going to paint a picture. The devil's going to show That's him. He wouldn't be the devil. He's going to paint a picture. He's going to show up like it ain't going to happen. But I'm going to tell you tonight it is going to happen. I'm going to tell you tonight this devil is alive. I'm mean, going to tell you, thank God we're going we gonna to prosper. We're going to be in here. I'm mean, going to tell you, thank God that we are going to overcome. Is he going to find faith when he come? I'm mean, going to tell you now, yes, we're going to find faith. Thank God God got some people he's putting the spirit in, and he's going to find faith in us when he come. He's going to find faith in us right now. So by faith, the Red Sea was open. By faith, Joshua was Spoke to the sun and the moon. Told the be ye still, stand still. And the sun would move for a whole day. You know what? That moved God. That faith. Joshua stood up and speak, spoke. You know what? That faith in God. He stood up and spoke to the old sun, stand thou still. I need another day. Thank God to win this battle. And, and you know what it was? It was that faith in God that moved God. God called the sand, sun. God put the sun on overtime. And put the moon on overtime. 
that there was a faith in God. The Bible said, come boldly. You know, just in doubt, we need to say, stand by still, son. Moon hastened to come up, but he didn't doubt. He spoke and he came boldly because he believed his God. We got to believe our God, folks. We got to believe our God. We got to fight for this thing. Resist that devil, the Bible says. We got to resist that devil. And he'll flee from us. Resist. We got to resist that doubt. I know doubt got a way of coming in. We got to some kind of way say, God, help me resist this doubt. Help me to believe my belief and doubt my doubt. Stand on the word of God. The word of God. There's no failure in the word of God. The word is alive. It's quick. It's powerful. The Bible says it's sharper than any two edged So we got to stand on this word of God. Man, I'm asking Jesus to put this in us, God. I know your word is real. I know your word is alive. I know your word is powerful, God. Put this in us. God, that you acknowledge that you will put this word of faith. The Bible tells the Roman, the word is in the mouth. The word is in our mouth. That word of faith. If you have faith, you can say unto this tree. You have faith as a grain of mustard seed. You can speak to this mountain. This move, God. Lord, so what you bind on earth shall be down in heaven. What you loose on earth. And if we have faith, faith move, God. If we can get the kind of faith that I pray as God, give me the kind of faith that moves you. Give me the kind of faith that get my body delivered. Give me the kind of faith that heal me. Give me the kind of faith that I believe that you that this devil is going to be bound. Give me the kind of faith that I can call those things that be not as though they were just like you did. You said your spirit living up. Your spirit living us. And God, that ain't going to change. Folk, that ain't going to change. You got to. And I call things that be not as though they were. I don't care. Thank God what the devil say. We, it, it's time for us to stop listening to this devil. Let me stop listening. And he's a good liar. He's a good thief. He's a good persuader. But we got to stop listening some kind of way. Put our faith and our trust in, in Jesus. God, I believe in you. I believe, I'm trusting you. Not in who we are. Jesus, if he be lifted up, find a way. Man, if you're tired of asking God for stuff and don't do it, he look like he don't hear you, but he hears you. But we just got to be, we got to be persistent. You know, you got to be persistent. You got to. And what else can we do? The Bible says, a word can't do it. He said, have faith in God. Have God kind of faith. Our works ain't going to do it. Works never get us nowhere. It's the faith in Jesus Christ. He said, I'm coming down to deliver you. I'm going to break the yoke off you. How do we, how do we get God to move for? How? We need to talk to him, son. To Jesus, how do I get you to move? How? We need help. I need help. People need help. How do we get you to move? How do we get you to move, Jesus? Well, one thing we got to come boldly. We got to bring his word with, with us. Take his word as Moses did. Yeah. Get him to move. Faith. Faith in God. Listen. Listen. Listen to what uh, Matthew 15. Listen, for We need, I'm asking Jesus to God, help me to find faith. I, I, Help me to find faith, Lord, because I got to, you, you got to move her. You got to move her. The devil like he's trying to take over. And he's smiling and grinning. I said, God, give us something here. Wipe that silly grin off that devil's face. How do we get God to move? Forget about ourselves. And look to Jesus. Put our eyes up on Jesus. Listen, Matthew 15, verse 21 through 28. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously back with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciple came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. 
But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dog. And she said, True Lord, yet the dog eat of the crumb which fall from their master table. And Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou will. And her daughter will know what she will made whole from the very I know what she persisted. How do we get God to move? Be persistent. Be persistent in the word. Be persistent. Tell him, God, your word ain't going to come back to your boy. She said, yea, Lord, I may be a devil. Yea, Lord, but she was persistent. She going to want to get her daughter healed. And she knew that Jesus was able. Jesus possessed the good. Jesus possessed the power. Jesus possessed the mercy. He possessed the long suffering. He possessed the compassionate. And she knew that she said, yea, Lord. But the dog eat of the crumb that falls. She, was, she, she, she refused to be denied. Man, we got to, to Jesus. God, I refuse to be denied. Oh, when he see their faith. Bible when he saw their faith. But we got to find God some kind of way. We got to get this thing some kind of way. We got to, man, do something to find a way. God ain't going to lie. He said, I'll come down and move for you. And we got to find a way to tap into that. He's waiting on us. Jesus is waiting on us. He's waiting. He want to move. He want to move. The Bible says the angels, angels always before his face. Waiting on his command. Sitting there before God. Waiting on God's command. You know. Waiting on God to say, go down and deliver. Go down and set free. This woman, she refused to be denied. She refused. So my daughter's vexed. She said, we don't take children bread and cast their dogs. She's a true Lord. There's no she persisted. She refused to give in. We got to refuse. Somebody said, Brother, I, I know it ain't the easy thing. I'm not saying that it's easy. I know it's a fight. Even with me, it's a fight. But we got to be persistent. We got to, man, we got to, uh, man, exhort the word of God over everything, every other spirit, every other devil spirit. We got to exhort this word over. It ain't easy, but we got to, man, make the word of God our most precious. Over everything else, you got to give the word of God. Perhaps. And then easy. I'm not telling you it's easy. But the Bible says, Paul told us that we can do all things through Christ. That strength us. He out there to every man. Faith move God. Faith on God. Jesus said, the, He dealt to every man that measure faith. Every man. He, said, I didn't, he, he didn't give us a sack full, a bucket full. He didn't give us a bag full. He said, I did every man that measured. He gave us a measure. A measure of faith that works. A measure of faith. And we'll get this measure of faith. That faith in God. He told us then in Mark, have faith in God. we we'll get that measure of faith that God had given to us. Thank God I believe we can move. We, matter of fact, he said, you can say unto this mountain, told us if you're bind on earth, I'll bind in heaven. Loose on earth, I'll loose in heaven. God ain't no lie. He's true to his word. If we can just some kind of way find a way to get a hold of this word and stand on this word and resist the Bible and resist the devil and he resist his old doubt and spirit. Resist this unbelief. Resist what the devil said. The Bible says you're free from us. Folk, I'm telling you, that's the way. That's the answer. Jesus is the answer. But he wants us to believe. He wants us to confess and stand on it. Stand on it. And that's right. The word do, it do works. It ain't easy. I don't tell nobody it's easy. Because you got an adversary. The Bible says we got an adversary going forth as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He's out there. And he's seeking somebody to devour. But I often pray, God, don't let me be in a place where I can be devoured. Let me stand up on you, God. Let me, if I have to call them things that be not as though they were, put that spirit in me. I can call them things. I can say, by your stripes, I'm healed. I'm free. I'm delivered. No more chain got me bound. She refused. She persistent. So that's brother, I'm doing work like that. It works. It works. That devil going to harass her. But let me tell you something, folks. The Bible tells her, don't think it's strange. Peter said, don't think it's strange concerning these five trials that we go through. That's from the devil is trying to, man, he's trying to uh, rob us of our faith. Rob us of our victory. Rob us of what God has given to us. 
You know, Joshua, when they sent the spies out, Moses sent the spies out, and they came back with the evil report. Joshua came to us and we are well able. So I know there may be giants over there and all that stuff, but we are well able. Great is he that is in us. We are well able to believe. We are well able to overcome this death. We are well able to believe God. We are well able to walk in faith. We are well able to stand on God's word. We are well able to receive what God has half us. We are well able. Although you got giants, you got devils, you got spirit. Thank God that's wrestling with our mind, talking to us. Man trying to hinder you, trying to stop you, trying to discourage you. I tell you tonight, don't be discouraged. Refuse to be discouraged. Refuse to think, I don't give up. Because you're having a problem, don't give up. Think that you're well able because the devil may throw you. Don't give up. Don't stop. Man, don't you park there. You still are well able to come, overcome every spirit that the devil put up on me. Every temptation, every trial. That the devil bring my way, God, I'm well able. I'm coming through this stuff. I'm coming through this stuff. You know, when you go through stuff, thank God that gives you compassion. It gives you understanding. That give you mercy when you go through stuff. Sometimes people read it, they don't have no compassion. They ain't been through nothing. They ain't been through nothing. They had no 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 fight. And they don't have no compassion. But compassion, when you're going through stuff, it gives you compassion. You learn compassion. You learn mercy. And some people don't have it because they ain't been through nothing. But let me tell you something. God, I know you got a compassion. You got a mercy. I want the spirit of God in me. I don't want you to be able to talk this word. And, and, and man, and profess your word and preach it. I want Jesus to be in me. I want his compassion. I want to be as he is. And I'm telling you tonight, we can be there. We can find a way to touch him. Thank God he's to come boldly that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help folks. In a time of need, God is God. He ain't no lie. The devil is a lie. It, Paul said, I, I think I got it somewhere. I may read. Paul said, listen, I believe God. And all hope we're gone. We didn't see star. We didn't see sun. We didn't see nothing. Man, for days, and all hope we're gone that we be was taken away. He said, but I believe God is going to be, even as he told me. We got to believe God. He told us, I will never leave you. I won't forsake you. I'll be with you even in trouble. Some kind of way we got to embed that in our heart. We got the man stepped in our heart. We got to believe it. Stand on it. Refuse to be denied. Refuse to be rejected. So God, you told her, thank God you come down to help us. And this is what I'm, I'm not confessing nothing else but your word. I'm confessing your word, Jesus. And stick to it. So, but I'm the devil going to fight me. Absolutely going to fight you. But you stick to God's word anyway. And that Syrophoenician woman, she refused to be. But we will able. We are able. Jesus never lied to us. We are well able. Great is he that is in us. He told us what? If we abide in him and we abide in us, we can ask what we will. That's what Jesus told us. That, that's the way to God. That's the way to get the Lord to move. That's the way. We humble ourselves down and submit ourselves to him. We can get Jesus to move, you know. Because one thing about his word, he, he respects his word. He honors his word. Live a mark, St. Mark. Did I read Matthew 21, 28? Yeah, I think I did. Yep. Mark. Mark 10. Blind bottom edge. Mark 10, verse 46. Find a way. How can we get God to move? Every home needs Jesus moving. And our ministers' son, as I be, before we got it dismissed, I said, listen, I said, I said there's somebody in here, and I said, one in the being here that's, that's having trouble in their home. Having trouble, it's bad trouble in their home. You know, just, the Lord just laid on my heart, laid on my spirit. It's having trouble in their home right now. And I see what's the, I see what's the, I didn't know it was a boy or girl, but I see it was a kid. It was a child. And had the surgery come and talk to them. Said, said, I know they were me you're talking about. They were convinced about how the trouble they had. They, their own kid was just saying awful stuff to them and saying low down, hurtful stuff and words that they thought that the kids should never say. Surprised they didn't say stuff like that. God. We need God to move. 
you know, we were on praise to God and move, stop this some kind of way. We need to be able to move. How do we move God? It's what we have in our home. How do we move God? We got to find a way to move God. God don't want to be going through all this trouble and all this stuff. Man, all this uh, heartache and stuff we have to go through in our home because the devil's on a, on a, on a rampage. We got to find a way to get God to drive this devil out of here. Get him out, Lord. Listen. Mark 10, verses 4 to 6. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciple and the great mother to the people blind Barnabas, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried out the more a great deal. He was persistent. He kept crying out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. We got to be persistent. Gee, you say your word said you, you wouldn't leave us, you wouldn't forsake us. And Lord, I, I, we need you to be with us, be by our side, to be a fess about us, be our protector, be our very present help. But your word told us that you be our very present help in a time. We got to find a way to give God word back to him, said, Lord. And he can't deny his word. He got the honest word. We, 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 we can get God to move by. Not something we conjure up. Not some old sophisticated word, highfalutin word, some more educated word that we think we can speak and in, we can, man, uh, influence the Lord. You don't influence God with your highfalutin word. You can't influence God. Faith moves God. And he honest word because everything else is going to fail. Everything going to fail. Prophecy, tongue, vision, all this stuff going to see. But he said, my word abide forever. And we can influence, influence God with his word, taking his word back to him. And get in the word because his word is going to stand in the whole, everything pass away. My word will not pass. This is how we influence God. Not with man with our uh, intellect. Not with our fancy speaking. Not with our great words that we speak. Blind Bummer cried out, O oh Lord, thy son of David, have mercy upon me and help me. We can get God to move by instead of reaching out and crying out to him, asking him to help us. He's a, he's a God that got to be praised. He's a God that got to be exalted. He got to know, thank God, that you put your trust in him, that you believe in him, that it's you, that it's him that you're honoring. He cried out the more. You know, Obama Bible persisted. And Jesus stood still, verse 49, and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise, he called it thee. And he cast away his garment rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What would thou have, what would that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. Faith is the supper. We can get to God through faith. Coming boldly. Taking this word. We can get God to move. We got to get him to move. I mean, we got to get Jesus to move. I need him to move for me. Somebody called me today and prayed for me. Yes, yeah, so the Bible said, a fresh prayer and prayer, right? I always receive prayer. We need it. And I pray people always praying for me. Because folks, I need it. But you know what? I'm, 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 I'm starting to resist that devil. You got to start to resist it. I'm starting to hold on to Jesus. Let me tell you something, folks. God's word won't return to him void. He told us that. His word will not return unto a void. He said that then John 10, that the scripture cannot be broken. He said, what I told you, that's the way it is. You know, it ain't coming back. Void is going to accomplish that we will believe it. If we will believe it, stand on this thing. I'm not telling you. The Bible said, race ain't given to the swift. Valley to the strong. I'm not trying to be so strong, so bad, so tough. I'm simply telling you, man, ask Jesus. Jesus, help me to stand on your word. Help me to believe your word. Help me to confess your word. Put it within me. And I believe it beyond all doubts. Shove all that stuff 
away from me and help me simply push everything else away from my mind and help me simply, simply to believe you, to believe you. Man, we can get there. I believe we can get there. I'm designed to be there. And you think that devil ain't fighting me? That devil fight me, attacking me, attacking my body? But you know what? I'm putting my eyes on Jesus' word. Put my eyes on Jesus' word in them. And I ain't stopping. I'm not going to park in that, in that place of unbelief. I'm not going to park in that place of doubt. You can't park there. It means you got to move on up into faith. You got to move on up into confidence. You got to move up to the place where you be steadfast, unmoved. You can't park. You can't tear around in that, in that place of unbelief. You can't tear in that place of doubt. You can't tear it. You got to step on out, move on out. Once you get to hang around there, the, the devil had you right back where you used to be. But thanks be to God. He said, man, I'm going to leave you. I'll be with you always. Thank God. The Bible says in Psalm 27, in time of trouble. David said, I was a fan. I believe, believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of living. When I said, but in a time of trouble, he would hide me in his provision. In time of trouble, he would hide me. You tell Jesus, Jesus said, in time of trouble, you hide me in your provision. And so, Lord, this is what I'm looking for. There ain't no other help down here. We have nobody else we can turn to, Jesus. So we're looking, we're putting you up there, we're letting you know, Jesus, where can we go to? And let Jesus know that. that that'll get him to move, you know. And these people believe in me. <laughs> Blind by my cry, I listen, listen, mouth five. I'm going to be letting you go in a few minutes. This one with the issue of blood, we all know the story. You can read it. But I'm going to read it. Uh, 5, 25 to 34. And the same which had issue of blood 12 years. And had suffered many things, a many physician that had spent all that she had and was well, nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus coming and press behind and touched his garment, she was pressing, she was striving. She, folks, we got to press. You got an answer at the fight, but we got to press through this thing. You got to fight. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven is preaching men everywhere. It's pressing into it. We got to press into this place. There is a place in Jesus. We can be there's a secret place, but we got to press into it. The devil ain't letting us come there freely. You got to press in that thing. You got to strive and pray. The Bible says he went in and pressed behind and touched his garment. She said, if I may touch his clothes, I should be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood were dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself the virtue has gone out of him since she touched God. She found a way. She touched him. She found a way. Look, for, if we can find a way to touch Jesus, if we can find a way to touch him, Jesus removed. Jesus won't say, that somebody touch him. It's not what you mean, all these people praying to Jesus, and all somebody touch me. We got to find a way to touch Jesus. Not just find a way to get out there and be doing stuff, acting in a way. We got to find a way, absolutely way, to touch him. If we can touch him. And this woman knew that she, if I can touch his clothes, I'm going to be old. And man, when she touched him with that faith, Jesus, somebody done touch me. Oh, man, don't you want to pray him? And Jesus said, man, somebody done touch me. Oh, brother Austin touched me. That sister done touched me. That brother done touched me. You know? The Pam done touched me. Tell old Micah, Pam done touched me. Andrew done touched me. He said, somebody touched me. Say, who touched my clothes? Verse 31, his disciples said unto him, Thou see the mother too thrown, thrown in thee, and said thou who touched me. And he looked around him about to see her that had done this thing, but the woman feared, trembled, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy place. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. 
Go in peace. We got to find a way. She found a way to touch Jesus. We got to find a way to get Jesus moved. Do whatever you do. Believe. Pray. Beg. I don't mind begging. I tell the Lord all the time, Lord, I don't mind begging. I beg. I don't mind begging. But, but we got to find a way to get God moved for us, for our family, for our situation. You got to find a way to move God. How can we move God? Respecting Him. This is what Acts 27, kind of jumping about it, but this is what Acts 27. Acts 27. I'm kind of jumping about here, these scriptures, because. But listen. So we got to find a way. Pray with me that I can find a way to move Jesus. I can find a way to get him to hear my prayer and answer me. Acts 27, verses of 18 through 25. And we being exceedingly tossed with the tempers, like we are now, tossed with the tempers. But Jesus, I ain't going to leave you. I'll be there. You know, Christian now being tossed to and fro with the tempers. Devil's man coming up against him every, on every front. The devil is riding up against God's people. Trying to discourage him, trying to get him to stop. But folks, let me tell you something. Great is he that is in you. Man, G will never have Paul in to put that in the Bible. I mean, John to put that in the Bible. Great is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We talk with tempest. The next day they lighten the ship. And the wind, and the third day we cast out with our own hand the tackling of the ship. And when neither stars Sun or stars in many days appeared when trouble seemed like it don't have no end. Look like when darkness, you don't see nothing but darkness. One thing after another. Praying with the sister today. She said, look like man, the thing get the devil always coming back to something. Look like it ain't no relief. But that is relief. Thank God that is relief. That is, I'm telling you tonight, that is relief. That is deliverance. And, I, and I'm upset at the devil right now. I don't care what this devil say. Man, I, I, Jeremiah's like, I'm going to heat of my spirit. Jeremiah, Jeremiah got mad. He got upset. He's like, went in the heat of my spirit, went in the anger of my spirit right now. Thank God this devil is a liar. There is hope. There is the There's victory the devil trying to keep this stuff hid from us. Devil trying to keep us not, but one of not believe this, that there is victory. And man, right now, I'm going to heat of my spirit against this devil. He's a liar. God's going to snatch the cover off this devil. And I'll be glad when you do. Listen. When neither sun nor star, the many days appeared. And no small temper lay on us. All hope that we should be saved were then taken away. And this is what the devil trying to do tonight. Trying to, man, make us think that all hope now is Satan use a liar. Satan use a liar. Satan use a liar. Trying to make us think all hope has been taken away. I'm, I'm telling you tonight, all hope has, has not been taken away. Has not been taken away. Thank God Jesus is God, and he's going to stand up. I mean, Jesus is going to stand up for his people. The Bible says we overcome this devil by our testimony and the blood. Of, we are, Jesus giving his people a testimony. Now, the devil don't like me saying this, stuff, but the devil, I stand on God's word now. I mean, I proclaim God's word tonight. I proclaim it. God's word to you people. I proclaim this word. All hope ain't gone. All hope ain't taken away. You, you're a lying, you're a lying spirit. It ain't taken away. The Lord has already declared all power in heaven and earth is in my hand and every spirit is subject to me. Every soul, everything is subject to me. He told us I decreed the end from the beginning. The devil used a lie. All hope ain't taken away. Listen, God, just bear along with me. I know I get a little upset, but the devil get me upset. And all powers with Jesus. And me, I'm going to try to read this on. But after long absence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sir, you should have hearkened unto me and not have loose from Crete and to have gained this harm and law. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer. Isn't that Paul? Oh, you ain't saw the sun in many days of the stars 
But I'm telling you, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer, brothers and sisters. Be of good cheer. God is still in control. God is still in command. God still has all power. Man, God is still the Satan, is, is the devil's boss. He said, now I exhort you to be of good cheer. But there stood by me, there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. But there stood by me this night an angel of God, whom I am and whom I serve, saying, fear not, Paul. Thou must be brought before Caesar. And lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Then we say, verse 25. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer. I tell you now, wherefore, brothers and sisters, be of good cheer. I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. I believe God that my we got to believe it's going to be even as God. You don't lie. You don't lie. I believe it's going to be. Even as, matter of fact, it's got to be. It's got to be, even as God told us. More than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We got the victory. David said, I would have I I fainted, but I, I let not believe to see the goodness of the Lord. This widow woman in Luke 18, this widow, I won't can't read all that. This widow woman went, kept going to that judge. You know what? She was persistent. Kept going to that judge. The judge ain't scared of God, man either. But because of her persistence, she wearies me. I'm going to rise and give up what she asked for. Let me tell you something, folks. Jesus can't be compared with an unjust judge, but he told her, you see what happened to this unjust judge? Because the woman kept going to him. And she said, he'll rise up and give up. But we can't, Jesus can't be compared to an unjust judge, but Jesus just let her know. If this unjust judge can do it, if we keep calling out to him, stand on the word of God, the devil keep coming back, you keep taking the word of God. You keep taking the word of God and having the word of God. Keep telling that devil you're lie. Every time that devil comes, he says, yeah, but God is my deliverer. Yeah, Jesus is going to stand up for me. Jesus is going to help me. We need this, folks. We got to find a way to move Jesus. People's in trouble. Our family's in trouble. We're in trouble. We got to find. We got to find something that touches Jesus. Find something that moves Jesus, folks. If what we're doing ain't working, let's try something else. Let's have faith. Let's start confessing His word and stand on it, believing His word, and not backing down off of it. Don't back down off it. Paul said, "I believe God." Psalm twenty-seven says, "In time of trouble, He will help me. He hide me in provision." The Jesus, what you told him. No weapon that formed against you, prophet. Lord, that's what I'm standing. I'm believing. Oh, you're going to deliver us out of all our afflictions. You told us that we had many of them, but you promised us you we would deliver us. And Father, I'm, I'm standing on this word. And Lord, Jesus, don't lie. You know, you're not a lie. I'm standing on your word, Jesus. I'm standing on your word, God. Move everything else out. Everything out. All when all hope was gone, that we should be saved was taken away. And this is what the devil tried to get us in this play. He tried to put fear in your heart, doubt, and disbelief. Folks, let me tell you something. We got to do our best to stand on God's word. Believe him. This room don't know, believe him. You think it's easy? It ain't easy for me. It's not easy for me at all. I have, I have to fight these devil jack everybody, but you know what we stand on? Jesus told me to stand your ground. And I pray. He helped me to stand my ground. I pray. Thank God that everything that the devil come up against me, I pray, thank God he helped me to stand my ground. So he said we can do nothing without him. And he told me, to so stand your ground. Say, and this I'm doing. God, you got to, for me to stand my ground, you got to stand with us. You got to be with us. For us to stand our ground, we got to be with us because you said we can do nothing without you. So you got to be with us in order for us to stand our ground. And I believe we're going to be with us. I thank God, my Holy Father, mighty God, and deliverer. Lord, help me. Help your people. Lord, help me to do, help me to be able to. Lord, I try to stand in the gap. I try to make me here, not me personally, but God, through your word, through faith in you. I try to occupy 
in this offer that you gave me to be as being a shepherd, a pastor. God, I, I don't put no confidence in myself, in my flesh. It's all in you. It's all in me being a vessel of you as a chosen vessel. And I pray, God, let me find a way. Father, let me find a way to get you to move. Let me find a way. God, have mercy upon me. Let me find a way, Lord, to get you to move. I'm asking this of you, Lord. Not, God, I take no glory. Lord, I, I will not receive any glory. And God, you said, you do what we ask if the Father will be glorified in the Son, Jesus. The thing I ask you, I give you glory for not thank you tonight. God, help us to find a way Lord, to get you to move. I pray we can touch you somewhere. Touch you, Jesus. Somewhere, God, I, the Spirit be troubled. And we need you. Father, I thank you. We give you praise. Give my hand praise. We appreciate the Lord. I thank God for Man, you know when you got trouble. You know you're going through stuff. You know you're fighting some kind of battle. But we got to find a way. Jesus, man, I won't leave. I won't say God. I won't, I won't let you. But I, I'll help you. We got to find a way, folks. We got to come bold. I'm going to let you go. We got to find a way to come bold to the throne of grace. The Bible said that we may obtain mercy and find it. Folks, I guess we can realize that we need Jesus. We really need him help. And folks, as I say, a lot of this stuff just ain't doing no good. Just ain't doing no good. Lord, I have a, a philosophy and all this fine speaking and stuff. We just ain't doing. Why are we in so much trouble if all this stuff works? Stuff don't work. It just don't work. We, we got to approach God another way. We got to have faith in God. We got to come boldly. And I thank God for helping us. Y'all pray one for another. God just help us to move him. You know? I ain't worried about a lot of stuff. But if I can just get Jesus to move, move for us. Move for you. Work out every move for those people that call me today. I mean that sister that's got help her. The son is her son is a Man, it's just uh, calling a name that it shouldn't be. Saying all oh, hateful stuff. I said, God help us. We need Jesus to stand up and touch these people's heart. Yeah. Holy Father, I'm going to let you go because I keep talking. But I, I appreciate you. I thank God for you. Listen, we really appreciate your prayer. We got to find a way to get Jesus to move for us. I'm going to tell you. We appreciate your prayer. Continue to keep us up in prayer, man. Lord, help us out. Pray that I can be able to stand in the gap and to make up the hedge that God will answer my prayer for this is in my heart. And what about all this other stuff? Keep me in prayer. Thank God. We God bless you. Until the weekend, we see the weekend if be the Lord's will. We pray that it be God's will. So God bless you until Saturday.